Hey everybody! I thought I would take you on an adventure with me today. I was digging through my drawers and I came up with a jar of pencil shavings out of my electric pencil sharpener. I had saved them to think, you know, thinking they would make a really good texture, you know, we'd try it out. Um, so I put a little bit in some medium the other day and spread it around and it was kind of cool looking. I thought, well, I wonder if we can just play with that, put it in with paint. Um, try spraying it with sprays first so it would be colored and then putting it in like a clear medium or a paint or you know I thought we'd take an adventure and try it in a bunch of different things so I'll turn you down to the desk and here we go so I thought we would try spraying some of these uh, pencil sharpenings first just to see what happens see if they can turn nifty colors and then we'll try putting them in some different mediums and see where we go from there. So I'm just going to kind of separate some out a little bit here so I can do a couple of different colors and we'll see you know what happens, how much they take the dye and um... <laughs> okay didn't see that one coming <laughs> although I don't know why I should have. Let's see if I can spray it from farther up. Yep it's still gonna do it. Alright well how about then if I make a puddle and mix them into that. Uh, maybe without using my fingers. It's my carousel mucking up everything as it goes around there. Okay, let's just mush them in here and kind of see what happens. Let's make another little puddle here. By the way, that is uh, Mr. Huey's color mists in heirloom blue and it is a very very bright turquoise and I'm working on paper that I um, put under a project I was spray painting last night so it's a little bit of an odd color to be working on but where I'm going to be putting all this stuff in a book it will be white so it will be easier to see but just mix that around a little bit more I kind of want to get all of them turned that blue color because there's still some that are not quite that color yet. I'll try one more puddle. There. That particular Mr. Huey's, I've had a little bit of trouble with that particular color, the heirloom blue, um, wanting to spray funny or kind of be clogged. And it's you can tell it's leaked all over itself, and I don't know why. Okay, well those are probably about good enough there. So let me clean off my palette knife here and we'll do the same thing with some of these yellowers and see what happens there. I'll just make a nice puddle, sort of squinch them in. And this one won't spray at all. Isn't that lovely? Well, I'm not sure why they're all so clogged up. Looks like there's going to be a few green ones in here. That's all right. It'll give us a pretty color. That'd be interesting, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I think I should scrape those onto something here to work with. Let me get out a couple of little palettes to work in. Okay, I'm going to put these into here. Obviously I can't heat dry these. <laughs> so we'll set that aside for just a minute and talk about what we're going to do. I'm just going to spread them out so they can sort of unclump and dry a little here. That's probably off camera, but that's okay. You don't need to worry. see me scraping them around a little bit, I guess. Um, there, hopefully those will dry up. I'm just going to kind of do this. kind of want to put my book up here. 
But I think I'm going to have to wipe this off good first. There's a... Oh, this will work. And the Mr. Hueys, once they're dry, they're permanent. Um, so if you can actually get them to spray, which I haven't had trouble with them until now, so maybe it's just because I haven't used them in a while. Um, they, once they're completely dry, then they don't come back up when you do stuff. So, okay, let's try paint. This is Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent. I'm just going to splurge a little bit into the container there. And I have these wonderful little palettes um, that come in a whole system. So there's these, these, and there's like a big tray that's on top. And then there's um, these two ones that are all underneath of it. And then you could, of course, take all of them out and use the bottom as a really deep palette. So that is pretty cool. I did a review on that um, on one of my other videos. So if you're interested, this... You see if you can see in there. This has pencil shavings in it already. This is the last little bit I had of um, golden regular gel gloss. And um, I stuck some in there the other day to check it out. And so we already have a blob in there. I'll just scoop a little bit out and stick it in here. And I thought we would take another little glob out and stick it over here and then see how much pencil shavings we can get in that and still make it, like, you know, movable. See if we can make it, like, really thick with them. And I think we should try some gesso just for grins and see what that looks like and how it takes paint and stuff. So there's that. This is just more regular gloss in case I need it. Um... Let's try collage posh. I mean, if we're going to try everything, why not? I love collage posh more than Mod Podge. Mod Podge is great for gluing stuff down. Um, but if you're going to have it anywhere on your page, it's tacky and kind of a pain in the tucci for some of those things. So, I prefer collage posh. Plus, I like the finish on it better. It's a little bit more matte. It kind of feels like paper. It's just enough shiny. It does not mess up your um, felt tip pens, like craft paint will, or anything that's not got a tiny bit of something or other. I'm gonna do that with my fingers because wow, it's getting messy. So let's put some of those in the blue paint. Let's put a few extras in this one we wanted to try and mix in here. A little bit in the gesso, and a little bit in the collage posh. So, now if I can remember which one is which, we'll know when we put them all in the book to try them out and I'll label them. So let's just mix these up. I think that um, there could be a few more in there. I think that would be good. Let's drop some more in. I'm just going to stir it all around. This is going to give a really interesting texture. I haven't seen anything that has this texture so let's try it out and see here's the gesso stir that up really good I think we could probably go for a few more in there too I know my arms kind of getting in the way but let's see if I can get my hand out of the way at least there okay that's thick and textury now We'll see how that works. This is the gloss medium that I already had some pencil shavings in. I wanted to see if I could really get a thick amount in here and see what it would look like when it's, you know, really, really as full as it can get before it doesn't stick together. And this is the blue paint. There, now I can hang on to it and you can still see. Not that mixing paint is uber exciting, but there. Okay. Now, in the other two pots, let's put some of those colored ones that we sprayed. I'm going to kind of dump out the 
loose ones that aren't dyed. So let's scrape this together. And, oh, shoot, I would get it all into the other one. Oh, that figures, doesn't it? It does, it figures. That kind of thing always happens, of course. Best laid plans, whatever. So I'm just gonna clean this out. I'll try not to mutter, I mutter to myself a lot. Okay, there's the blue. And since it still seems to be fairly wet, I'm just going to leave that until the end of our experimenting and um, we'll try again. We'll check it out and see what we can come up with. But they are going to need to dry and they're pretty saturated. It's wood, so obviously it's going to absorb a lot of water. A lot of ink in this case. So, there. I'm just going to stick these over out of the way. Wipe this up a little bit here. And let's try this out in a book. And I am going to write labels really quick so that we can see what happens with each one. Let me scooch stuff out of the way here. Those sprays are really starting to just come out all over the place, and I don't know why, because they've always been stored upright. But they seem to be doing that. So let's see if I can get this in there. I'm going to turn it this way since that's actually right side up for my book. Let me see where we're at so you can see. Okay. There's this little bit of pink that's come through my gesso. It was an old Christmas card, artist Christmas card book. And I decided to use it for my, like, tester outer journal pages. So you can kind of see just a little of all kinds of different stuff. I'll just do a quick flip through. That one never got finished. So I mean, there's just it's it's places it's a place where I have explored and just mucked stuff up freely because it is an unstable book. When I decided to use it as a journal, I did not stop to realize that this had a glue binding, so it wasn't sewn in like signatures. So as I have worn it and used it, the pages are coming out. So watch out for that when you decide to use something for an art journal. I have since learned my lesson and, and no longer do that. Okay, I digress. Let's, okay, we have gloss, medium, with some shavings. We have gloss, medium, lots of shavings. Um, we have blue paint and gesso and collage podge and then we have blue ink and yellow ink. Okay, so we've got a spot so we know what all, what all they're going to do. So let us give this a whirl. Kind of looks funky, huh? I kind of wanted to see how this would work. Because it's there's not as much in this one to see, you know, like the texture once it's done. Get a thing for my knife here. Okay. This one should have a lot more like texture. You know, you should be able to feel it a lot more once it's spread out because it's so, you know, there's hardly as much medium in there as there is the other one. There's a lot less medium. So that gives us kind of a blob to work with there. We'll see how that goes. Now, all of this is going to have to dry, like, probably till tomorrow. I can't heat this dry. It will just cook the outside and leave the inside raw. It's like a bad barbecue. Okay. This is the blue ink. Oh, shoot. That's not blue ink. That's blue paint. Hello. Okay. Well, I'll have to wipe that up. So here it is, just in some medium 
body paint, I would say. It's not as heavy body as Golden, but it, it is a thicker paint. It's not watery like your craft paints or the cheaper two paints. Art Advantage is very, um, very thin and less pigmented paint. So if you're going to buy cheap paint, I can't recommend um, Art Advantage, but I do recommend Liquid Tex Basics and Blick uh, Studio Acrylics. Okay, this is Gesso. And we've got a little streaks of color going on in there. Might have a little too much on there to really spread it out. There. Oops. Keep our label. Okay. Hope I'm not keep putting this palette right in your way there. Okay, and this is Collage Posh. So, and I must have gotten some of that blue or something on here. I don't know. It could be actually, you know what? That could be from sharpening ink tents pencils into that. Isn't that interesting? Because the whatever is, it's not just the wood there. It would also be the lead. So if there was um, either ink tents or watercolor pencils that I sharpened in there, that might be why we're getting these you know, really cool colors. And of course I just smeared it all over the label. Good one. Okay. I have to, there. We'll just kind of see how all of this turns out. Now I am going to try to wipe up the blue from where I was supposed to put the ink. This page was gessoed already, so that's why I can do this. If it hadn't been gessoed, that wouldn't work. Get another paper towel. I'm just dipping it into my rinse well to get it. My rag wet. I love my rinse well. Which is this. And you push the button and the water goes out and you get fresh water. And it works awesome. Saves me a gazillion trips to the sink. I still have to make trips to the sink, but just not nearly as often. Okay. Now, I really would like those to dry out a little bit before I put those on. So while this stuff is drying, I'm going to let those dry out. I'll come back for a little blurp to put some down with... Um, I think I'm going to use gloss medium I think but we'll see so I'm gonna let these little guys dry in here while this stuff dries and sets up and I'll come back halfway through so we can put those on and then let them dry until tomorrow and I'll come back tomorrow and we'll look at all the texture and how these worked and what works if we put paint over we'll just make some more adventuring so I will see you on the next little chunk here bye